Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Jesse Haworth. I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video is part of our technical support series, and today we're going to be going over how to manually add port exceptions to the Windows firewall if you're having issues with connecting SolidWorks client installations to your license server. So these troubleshooting steps can be useful if you've recently moved your license server or are setting up your license server for the first time. If you've already ensured that your client machines are pointing to the correct server address, then what we will want to do first is navigate to our server hosting our Solid Network License Manager and ensure that the proper setup is there. We can do that by first launching the Solid Network License Manager on our server and going to the Server Administration tab here on the left. Once we've gone to the Server Administration tab, simply click on Modify. Once the product activation window launches, select Activate Reactivate and click Next. Now the option we're going to be looking for on this page is the option shown here for a firewall is in use on this server. This option should always be selected as it prevents client installs of SolidWorks from communicating with the server over a randomized port. If this option is not selected, simply click it and proceed with the activation process. However, if this option is already selected and the license checkout issues persist, you will want to proceed with the steps needed to manually add the exceptions for the needed ports to the Windows firewall. So we can close this. Next, we will want to navigate to our Windows control panel. On most operating systems, the easiest way to do this is simply to go to your start menu and type in control panel into the Windows search field. Once we've launched the control panel, the next option we will want to look for is Windows Firewall. Once we've launched the Windows Firewall option, look in the left column here for the option for advanced settings. This will open the screen that lists your inbound and outbound firewall rules. To add a new rule to the Windows firewall, simply click on inbound rules, and then click on new rule. Once the new inbound rule wizard launches, select the port option since we will be adding exceptions for the two ports needed for successful communication between SOLIDWORKS client and server. Now simply click Next. Ensure that TCP is selected. And the ports we will be entering here are the port numbers 25734 and 25735. You'll notice that we separated the two port numbers with a comma and a space. Once you have these ports entered and the TCP option selected, simply click Next. Typically the best option on this next page is to simply allow the connection. On this next page, we will choose where these exceptions apply. To ensure that these exceptions are applied to your network, simply leave all three options selected and click Next. And on the final page, we can input a name and description for these port rules so that they can be easily found and modified in the future. It is not required to put any specific name or description for this exception, but for this particular example, we will input a combination that allows us to easily identify this exception as the ports needed for a SolidWorks licensed server. Once you've done that, simply click Finish, and at the very top of the list, you should see your new rule listed here. At this point, it is also recommended that you add outbound rules for these ports by following the previously shown steps. Once you have added both inbound and outbound rules, test your SolidWorks client installs to see if they can successfully check out a license. If you're finding that you're still having issues with checking out a license from your Solid Network License Manager, or if you have any questions on this process, please feel free to contact Hawker Systems Technical Support. Thanks for your time, everyone. Please feel free to check out our YouTube channel and our website for more tips and tricks like this. Have a great day.